This is Chase Sasser, and today we're going to go over the Leak Survey Sidekick app, um, which, if you don't know, <laughs> it's a new app that UE Systems has created to help uh, capture and track your leak surveys. So, um, what we'll do is I'll go over how to create a new leak survey, how to add in some leaks, take pictures, draw on them, you know, pinpoint the leak, and also, you know, add or delete to existing uh, leak surveys and then go over some of the menu settings. And uh, also we'll actually go over a, a report as well. So we'll show you how to do that. And, um, but from here, we'll get dive right in and uh, get started. So um, just to show what the actual leak app looks like, the icon whenever you search, you, uh, you search the leak survey sidekick. Uh, if you just type in leak survey sidekick, you'll see this icon right here. This is the one that we're gonna go over today and uh, give you all the ins and outs of. So we'll tap it, tap get started. And right here, it brings you to our home screen where we can either add a new survey or look at an existing survey. So we're just going to type, tap add new. And then right here, we'll type in a name and just give it a compressor room. Tap OK. And right here, you can see the survey manager window here. It gives me all the surveys that I've done. So I'm going to tap the compressor room and start adding leaks. So to do that, all we do is type the, tap that plus sign up in the top right corner. And from here, you can add a location, your decibel, tag number, your pressure on your leak, type of gas, comments, and add a picture. So right here, I'm going to add a location of the leak. We'll say it's... Um, uh, on a on a valve stem let's see the decibel remember the decibel is uh, using the scanning module and the rubber focusing probe it's uh, going to be you know 12 to 15 inches away from the tip of that rubber focusing probe and right here I'll just add in a tag number pressure so we've got these options for you on the pressure um, for those of you who have like 110 to 120 house line uh, air, you know, we'll want to round down, never round up. So we'll type 100 and then the type of gas, you tap it. And as you can see, we've got some preloaded in there like hydrogen and helium argon air. I'm going to stick with air this time. So valve stem, we'll say the, the blue valve. And we're going to add an image here. Tap, take our photo, use photo. And then this is where we get the ability to actually tap on the screen and, and pinpoint via like the paintbrush. And we can actually add text too. So I'm going to tap the paintbrush, change my color to red so we can see it. Tap, got it. And then I'm going to circle this valve right here. And then say so if you want to add text to it, tap the text icon. And I'll say here's the leak. Tap done. And it'll put it, put it on the screen for you. So you can drag it, tap it, and drag it wherever you want. And then if you wanted to remove the, the circle and the text on the screen, then you can tap remove and it'll remove that for you and you can start over. So but I'm going to tap save. And as you can see, it brings it right into the image, right into the app there. Um, and then we can go ahead and tap the save button and it will save that into that compressor room survey. So it says leak added, tap OK, and it brings it back. So now it's got that one under underneath that uh, compressor room survey. And I'm going to add another one real quick here. So uh, so we'll say it's at a gauge, 60, leak tag number two. Um, getting under the gauge, add an image. Use photo, and here we go, we'll draw a little circle there and save it. Pinpoint it. So now I'll tap save again. 
and let it populate in there. So there you go. So we've got two leaks in there, right? And if you want to go back and edit, you just tap, say, the valve stem. I want to say mark is repaired or edit it. If you tap edit, it brings it back into the uh, into where you can edit any information. Let's say if you did repair it, you tap repair, and you can immediately see that it changes to the green. So that's indicating that we're actually saving that amount of money per year. All right, let's go back to our survey manager so we can see all of our leak surveys. So any of these uh, we can edit. So you just tap one and you can see, you know, the leaks that are in there and edit or check them off as repaired as needed. So we'll go to the, uh, the collapse menu icon up in the top left, three, three lines on top of each other. So this is this is the menu settings here. So we've got home, overview, tutorials, contact us, settings, log out, and also a little switch down there to not show the welcome screen. Um, so the home menu, we've already went over that. Overview, now this is where we would come to to actually create a report. So say if we wanted to create a report on just that leak uh, or the compressor room that we just did, we'll tap it. And it shows us a little uh, little pie chart there with a, a legend of you know how much is repaired and not repaired that sort of thing. So I'm going to tap it and hit the little down arrow up in the top right corner, and it gives us the option to report with images or report without images. So I'm going to report with images. Um, the difference between those two is for some of the people that are repairing those leaks, then you might want to do the report with images so you can share that with them. Um, but if you're sharing it with someone uh, that just wants the numbers and just <laughs> just the report uh, number figures, then do the report without the images. It it'll uh, get it to them a little bit quicker too. So just tap report with images. Then it allows you to give the report a name. Um, so we'll just um, type in uh, 2022 leak survey. And tap save and what it does is compresses it zips the file up and uh, lets you email it to yourself so i'm just going to email it to myself and hit send now once you open this up uh, you'll want to save it to your computer and then you'll have to unzip that file so you'll have to extract it so but uh, on the screen here so going back to all the leak surveys here so say if you wanted to compile like an entire year's worth or multiple years worth of leak surveys you can just simply click and add them in and once you've checked all the ones that you want to do a single report on then you can go back and tap that uh, down arrow uh, up in the top right corner and it'll it'll compile them all for you so um going back to the menu settings uh the tutorials that one will bring you to a link to bring you to our uh, YouTube uh, our YouTube page. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, I highly recommend it. A lot of great tutorials on not just the leak survey app, but all of our equipment and some applications as well. Uh, and the contact us that brings you to say if you've forgotten your regional your current regional manager, or you just need someone for some quick inform, uh, quick information. Touch that, type in your credentials and your information, and we'll, we'll get to you as soon as possible. And then down here, the settings, this is where we'll give you the option to, you know, uh, manipulate the unit, uh, standard or metric, or currency, uh, either the US dollar, uh, the euro, or the pound, um, and also the language, how many uh, days the leak is uh, up and operational. So I've got it set here for 24 7 is the runtime for the facility. And then also we give you the options to manipulate the uh, the electricity cost and the cost of any of the other green, uh, the other gases that you have, whether it's argon, helium, hydrogen, or other, in which again, other, some people might consider that as like natural gas. So I'm gonna hit save down here at the bottom. And once you see that the data updated successfully pops up, you're good to, to go about and touch the collapse menu on the top left. And then if you log out, um, you know, you'll just have to log back in. Um, and then if you want to not show the welcome screen when you start the app up, you can tap that at the bottom. So coming back and looking at existing um, 
existing leak surveys. Say if I want to delete one of these surveys, um, all you do is tap it, slide it to the left, hold down and slide it to the left, and you'll see the delete icon come up. You can either delete the images out of it or delete the survey altogether or cancel. So just delete survey, survey's deleted, and it immediately updates the app. So, all right, so from here, I'm gonna go over the actual report itself. So we'll come over and show us our new format, and which you'll notice right off the bat if you're used to our uh, used to our reports, this one has definitely got a little bit more color, a little bit more um, you know visual uh, visualization that is very great. It, it's awesome. So um, the over here, it gives you a little pie chart for the cost, the savings, and things that you've captured. And in the middle there, it gives you a little bar graph of what's repaired and what's not. Um, over here to the right side, this allows us to kind of filter down of, you know, hey, I only want to look at the leak survey for the garage leak survey or line one leak survey. Um, so you can tap those and it automatically will adjust the dashboard accordingly. Um, and then if you ever want to reset it, you can show all and it'll bring it back to back to normal there. So. Um, also, one thing that we have added is the um, the severity of the leak. So we've got in here minor, moderate, major. So right here, it'll give you the pie chart of you know uh, which ones are which, whether they're minor or moderate or major. Also, we've got the gases. So if you do have other than air gases right here, it'll it'll indicate uh, in this pie chart area. And we scroll down a little bit further. We've got our greenhouse gases, uh, the energy emissions avoidance. It captures that and tracks it for you. And also your identified CFM uh, in total. So let you know what, what type of gas, which ones have not, how much has not been repaired and how much has been repaired. So if we click the, the next tab, this is kind of giving us our each individual leak. So as you can see, that gives you the survey name, the locations, your gas, your pressures, your decibels, the CFM, the leak tags. If it's repaired, it'll give a little checkbox, and then it gives the severity annualized, and then the leak cost annually. And then the last few columns here is, again, those greenhouse gases. And as you can see, it gives you a nice, neat little color option of, you know, if it's green, it's been repaired or accordingly to according to the legend of moderate, severe, or it's okay, or minor, excuse me. Um, now we have the uh, image tab, which this column over here, the first column right next to it, you'll see a little image. If you do have a picture in there, uh, it'll bring you to it. So say we want to see what this uh, 20th floor river road, so it's um, an air leak. This is how much it's costing, a little over $400. Leak tag number three, it's on the 20th floor and it's a, a gauge leak, right? So right here underneath the gauge, it's got a leak. And then if, if you scroll up or down, you can see that, you know, it, it, it organizes all of the all of the images for you on this tab. And then your settings for uh, what you had set up in the leak app, the survey settings tab will just show you all those and uh, and, and give you any of the calculations. Now, one cool thing that we do have embedded in this is on the survey settings tab, you can actually do the survey and say you want to put your company logo up here at the top. So in the top uh, corner right there, that company logo, you can click this button and add your company logo right here. And when that does, uh, when that happens, uh, you'll come and basically at the top of each of these pages, it'll actually have your company logo. So that's a good plus for uh, for everyone out there that's uh, doing these leak surveys and you wanna have you know your own, your own logo on there. So, but that brings us to the end. Uh, I hope you've uh, been able to learn something from this tutorial and uh, please feel free to reach out to uh, us here at UE Systems if you have any questions or comments uh, and please feel free to give us a, a, a like, thumbs up and a review. Thank you for your time and uh, we look forward to seeing those leak surveys come in. Have a great day.